from our heart to the arts. We believe in this. We were called to this. Some victories, some defeat. No retreat, no surrender. Out here in the streets. Good evening and welcome to Heart to Arts. You're in for a treat. You're in for a roller coaster ride. This woman of God has lived life, not a fairy tale. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and listen in as she shares the heart to her hearts. Welcome. Welcome to Nikki Jones. We're honored to have you on our first tour us heart to heart. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, my dear. <laughs> so, Nikki. The director for Lord Dance Ministry. Lord that has won many gold medals in the JCDC dance competition. You are a dance minister. But there's more to you than that. Tell us about it. Tell us about your growing up years. Okay, I was born in Keisha Green and I am from Newlands District, that's in Fort Worth. Uh, it's an inner city. Uh, and trust me, my growing up was crazy. <laughs> it was hard. Um, I've seen a lot of friends who got pregnant as teenagers. I even had my sister, my older sister. She got pregnant as well as a teenager. And so it was really, really difficult within that time. I never got to school like whenever school opened. School, school would open normally September. Yes. I never see the door, the school door until probably like November, December. Wow. Yes, that's how hard it is. Yes. Because one, I did not have any uniform. Mm -hmm. None of my books were bought. School fees weren't paid. Mm. Never have no school shoes. Wow. So all of that, and my father tried his best, mm -hmm. but it wasn't enough and so i started to dance with tivoli dance troupe and it was upon dancing with tivoli dance troupe i'll get material to 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 buy uh to, to build my uniform right, right, right. right and i would get book rental <laughs> for free mm -hmm. um uh i would get lunch money you know i could go to miss mrs garwood mr yes. arvin mcfarlane uh, Mr. Roberta Daly, you know, and they would give us lunch and bus fare to go home. So it was looking back, I'm like, you know, God orchestrated my life, right, set right, me up around persons right. like those. I remember for nights, my dinner was sugar and coconut because we had a coconut tree growing up in Newlands and we had, we had the coconut tree, we had mango trees and lime and cherry. We had all of those stuff. So we would normally, you eat those for, for, for dinner, wow. for lunch. Wow. Yeah, big, big Sunday. Mm -hmm. You can't, you, you don't have rice and peas and chicken as often. Yeah, yeah. coconut. Yeah. <laughs> coconut wow. right through. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. coconut wow. and sugar. Nice. And I remember one time, it was so, so hard for me in the sense of there was nothing to eat and i sat on the window because we had an unfinished house mm -hmm. and i sat on the window and i started to cry and then my brother um came over and he was like where are you about for <laughs> you know <laughs> and we said, more hungry <laughs> and so he went across the road and got a quarter of bread mm -hmm. and you know made sugar water as i said we had lime uh -huh. so that's what we would have eaten a lot of times we don't live on it yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, there were times when you know we would get uh, the rice and peas, yes, and so yes, it's, not, it's not often, yes. you know, because as I said, growing up, it was really, really hard. And I remember as a teenager, you know, young mm -hmm. coming up, you meet a guy. Um, I was about fifteen at the time. You know, they had a shop across from where we lived, and so you know, if anything, you can go over there and you can get. Uh, Push a little paper, you mm -hmm. get a, a, a two pound of rice, you write out a list and whatever, yes, yes. and you push it and you get the, the, the meat and stuff. So, you know, my sister 
would sit, would write it and you know send me over there and I'd go and I'd give it and then I'd get the grocery and coming over. Um, I did like the shopkeeper son. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, teenage crush. So he didn't love go for this. <laughs> Anytime I don't know about you, but I'm yes. over there. Because <laughs> I get to see him. Yes. Oh, one time when I was handing in the note to him, you know, he held onto my hands. And I'm like, okay. So he said, so we're well, never getting return. Favor. You know, yes. <laughs> you know, we're we'll never getting return. I was like, what do you mean? You understand? Because I've been doing this for months, you know? Yes. Uh, this has never happened. So it's kind of like surprising, right? Like, what are you talking about? And he said to me, I've been giving you all of this, you know, so a full time no, the letter off. Wow. You know, and as I said, uh, growing up in the community, everybody was basically having sex. Yes. And so, you know, I was like, okay you know okay. yeah fine because as i said i liked it yes and so you know we plan out everything and yes wash everything i'll make sure say so spray up on all of these things and so we we plan to have sex that night yes. and again um i wasn't supervised right. because mm -hmm. my father was a mechanic he died five years ago oh, right. yes uh he was a mechanic and so he would leave early and come in late Okay. And so my brother, he would leave early as well and come in late. My sister, she would be there, but not there. Yes. yes. You know, she'd so be no, there. No yeah, because no, even if she's supervision. there, I'm going to get up. She don't know. Okay. <laughs> right? You know, so she was kind of busy and stuff. And so, fine. I work it out. I said, okay, my father not coming home until around 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You know, my brother probably reached home by 7, 7.30. So we have about, let's say, 5 to 6. And we plan out everything, you know. Nice. And you know, so I went over by his house and we started the process. Uh in the midst of everything, you know, when he started to open my legs, yeah. they could not open. What? They could my legs literally was like this, and he was like, Stop rubbing my man, stop rubbing my <laughs> say we it. You know, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not doing anything. You understand? My yes. legs would not open. Right. You understand? And he started to get upset and say, yeah, you are a food attack man, fine. get up or whatever. And I felt so bad because, I mean, looking back, you know, looking on it at the time is like anything I want, whether really? slippers yeah. or whatever, once you push a note, you, you get it. And you know, it's the me. Yeah, it's the me. No, you want to pay him. Because, you know, one of the things that he's, one of the things that he said to me was that if you love me, you would do it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and like I, yeah, and then like you know, I, in, in those days you would have the the folder, yes. and then you have the plaque that you that you put your folder leaf in. Yes, yes. And yes. then on that you'd have Nikki Love X. Uh, 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 <laughs> so all of that. So be well, Martin. Yes. <laughs> so it, it was like nothing for yes. me. You know, I'm like, okay, cool. It's just sex. Yeah. And he was putting my leg, and it would not open, and you know he got frustrated. And we were like, yo, get up, go to your yard, mm -hmm. and whatever. And I walked out, you know, feeling like, oh my God, you never talk to me, I find my next girl, and all of these things. And yeah, that's basically what happened. Wow. He found he found somebody yes. else. Mm -hmm. And uh, but later though, like a few months after, there was a rumor going around. There was a rumor going around like my dad must say, you know, here go, go, come on, and whatever, and everybody was saying, hey, me. And they said that he had AIDS. Wow. So God after you from a long time. God love me for today. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. I'm yes. like, oh my goodness. Oh my, gosh, oh my goodness. Yes, yes. You yes. know? And it was crazy. Mm. Another experience I had was when um, my grandmother, she was a revivalist. Again, she died about six years old. Mm -hmm. And so I was I, I was brought up in the church. Okay. Right? And so when I when I when I started out in my grandmother's church, you know, we used to play a drum. Okay. Right. We can play from the, the little drum to the big drum. Uh -huh. I was so skilled that I had a chair 
and then I put the big drum on it, and then I had a little drum here, and yeah. then I beat and beat. What? <laughs> so I, I was like, really? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, sometimes when I look back, I'm like, I wonder if that's where I got my musicality yes. from. Yes. You yes. know? Yes. And so, and then she would trump her own and mm -hmm. all of these things. And, you know, so I would help her be bad people. Boy, you know, yes, I'm going to pass the aisle at this and whatever, uh, and uh. whatever and pass the candle through the foot them and feed the spirits at different corners okay. and mix the onion and the wine what? and set the table so i was in full preparation to be ordained uh allegiance they call it allegiance okay. within the, okay. yes okay. within the church okay. and it wasn't until then uh you know preparing for everything you know she would give me a particular song yeah. to read every night and then at, on the bed, um, beside my bed, yeah. you'd have the proton. The oh, proton yes, yes, so yes, yes. So yes. everything was just lining up, lining up. So it was really uh, interesting time. Interesting. <laughs> so how did, yeah. did you always live with your father or the mother? Oh no, no. I I I lived with my mother uh, up until I was about seven. Okay. Yes, seven. So how did you come to go to your father? Uh, so, story again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Tell us. So, there was this time um, my mother, she gave me herb to drink, and then I, I didn't like the taste of the herb. And so, I put the herb in the, in, in the plant. We had a plant, and I, and I threw the herb in there. Anyway, so, I went in the bathroom to take a bath, and she came in, and she was like, why are you throwing the tea or whatever? And anyway, so she was there talking and stuff and, you know, and I remember when she said to me, why you never drink the tea? You know, I must say, I never want it because it bitter and whatever. And she started to beat me and, you know, beat me in the, in, 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 in the shower. Mm -hmm. And I said, I want to live with my father because my father is spoiled. As much as he's not really there, <laughs> but I always get peanuts when he come home oh, and all of them something there. Oh. I like oh, if, that if, was if, yes to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like if anything he would speak to me yes. firmly. Okay. But if not I'll lick me. Yeah. You understand? And this lady come and lick me. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> That's my thought yeah. as, a, as a child. <laughs> you know? And um, you know, and she was beating me. I said, Mo I'm gonna my father and whatever. And she just stopped. Mm -hmm. I finished my my bath. Yeah. And by the time I came out, my bags were packed. Oh my god. And how old were you at that time? I was about seven, eight. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was about in grade two. So you were so you were shipped off then? Yes. To your father. Yeah, so, she said, Father, you want father, you get, get, get And so her. she sent me to my father. So how long you live with, with you live with that? I lived with my father about eight years. Because yeah. when I was about eight, eight and eight, sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For about eight so years. Why did why did you leave? What happened? So my mother eventually got a room up by Moline's room. Right. And so she decided to take me back. You know, um, that was when I was about 18, going on into 19. Mm -hmm. And so I remember, even though we we didn't have that relationship, mm -hmm. you know, I'll still go over and look for her on the weekends. I said, but once the weekend come, you have a go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember farm sleep the Sunday and I said so. <laughs> Yes, she will. Aye, at five o'clock. Oh, God. I will say, you have some energy. I look for rice and peas and something. I'm going to go to sugar and water. water. But, you know, um, you know, she, she sent me back home and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, she, as I said, she got a, a place by Moline's Road. Right. And she said that she would take me, you know, and whatever. And so I was excited about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. fine. Yeah. She made mistakes or whatever. Yeah. And you, 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 you didn't just want to come out of the space. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And everything, everything worked out. She made the plan, the arrangement. Now come here six o'clock Sunday, yeah. whatever, okay. whatever. So I was excited. Yeah. I never tell my granny anything. You understand? Because okay. my, my my grandmother is my father's mother. Okay. So they spoke about it, and my grandmother was livid. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't understand until, yes, because I was supposed to be the person, as I said, I, I do everything. Yes. I said, um, what a friend may I be? And I'm saying, what? Yes. yes. 
all of them summer there and everything. You understand? I help her plan everything. Uh, even when they have Christmas concerts at the church, I would do the dancing, you know, yeah. teach dancing. So I was kind of like a youth director. Yeah. Oh, wow. And so, and then for her to hear that I'm leaving, she yes. was really upset yes. and she didn't speak to mm. me. You know, but again, I was just excited to go yeah. and live with my mother. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until after living with my mother, um, I recognized, I was talking to a friend of mine, Auntie Jackie, and I was telling her everything. And she said, Nikki, as much as things didn't work out in the beginning with your mother, mm -hmm. you know, at the appointed time, mm -hmm. God sent her back into your life. That's true. And so she was able to pull you from yes. that practice. Yes, yes, because yes, right yes. now, trust me, when I be good, good, my Good, good mother, but you're, but you're the best, best mother now. <laughs> yes. So how did you and Jesus meet up? How? Oh, oh yeah. It was actually um the church that I started to attend was Arling Gardens Gospel Assembly. That's on Malines Road. And you know, I remember going there because, as I said, I, I started to live on Malines Road. Right. And my mother used to go to that church, okay. and so she, you know, introduced me and I started to go to the church. And I remember one Sunday sitting in a youth service, and the speaker, Arlen Harris, was just preaching, you know, about coming to God. And I literally felt somebody lifted me out of my seat. I mean, like, it's like I didn't have any control to yes. like sit back. Yes. It's like somebody, a tears was just flowing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I felt like somebody at the time I didn't know was the presence of God. Right. You know, but I felt like somebody lifted me out of my seat and was just pulling me to the mm -hmm. altar. You know, and I went to the altar and I wept. Yes. You know, and I gave my life to God yeah. and I have not looked back since. Mm -hmm. And that was when I was 19. So that was like 21 years ago. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> You've been in relationship with him for a long for time. A long time. Yeah. <laughs> so, we know a little bit about your story, but tell us about Jada. Oh, tell us about Jada. Jada, Jada I don't have my no. And girl mm. immaculate. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she would have been 80 years old. Okay. Ah, Jada, my precious Jada. Uh, Jada was my first baby. Yeah. It was my first pregnancy, was my first child, was the first uh for me to become a mother. Yes. Uh that process was really, really hard mm -hmm. in the sense of she did not make it yes. because of, I believe, some foolishness that the, the, the hospital need to get together, yeah, yeah. right? Um, a young mother, again, pregnant at 22, you know, um, no, 24, two years after I got married, at 24. And so going into the hospital, it was it was around Ivan time. Remember okay, the song, Ivan? Ivan, Ivan. Yeah. The one eye. Yeah. Yes. A police officer, <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> I, yes, I was. Yeah, I was escorted by police, you know. And even this morning, as I reflected, because I know I was coming here, and I was looking at it, you know. And then remember, there was a lot of shooting and stuff. Oh, yes. And down there, I was going where the hospital is was quite a violent place, uh -huh. you know. And it's like I saw where I was in the in the car, mm -hmm. and a police was there, and another one. They kept looking around, and, wow. and that just came back to wow. me this morning, wow. 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 you know. Yeah. Um. Being pregnant at an early age, uh, well, I was married at the time, yes. uh, but it was my first pregnancy. I didn't know what to expect. Right. So I'm going into a hospital to have my child to right. go back home because guess what? Everything, bio. Like good, good prom. Yes. 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 Shimmies, uh -huh. red, blue, pink, every color. Right, matching socks of to go course. with it. everything was prepared, mm -hmm. right? Um, and so I have everything, and you know, went in to, to, to the hospital, was feeling some pain or whatever. Uh, so when we got to the hospital, no, it's like the bed uh -huh. five person to a bed, two to the actually, it looked like no, five because the other part was to, the, the other part of the bed was here, mm -hmm. and you have this. Yes. So two person on the left, two on the right, one here, and so everybody have to sit up. Any pregnant? Yeah, and you know. Know. <laughs> oh yes. And I said, we have to stay. What? You know, and it was crazy. And then because I said it was uh, within the storm, right. you shake off your slippers because uh -huh. you want to go on the bed, right. and your slippers are go well they feel. Oh. Yeah, just float because the, the water. Yes. 
Yes. Wow. But anyway, you know, I really meant that because you're going to have your baby yeah, of and stuff. And I knew it was a girl, so I was yes. excited about that. And so you're there and everything, and you feel like a pain, and you know, <laughs> and then you, you go in and you say, um, Nurse, I feel in this and what I feel like the baby because remember I've never experienced right, childbirth right. before. Yes. So any little thing, you know, me, me go ask you, right. you know, because I'm not at home and would have asked my mother I said, I just know my little contraction, what they saw until they feel better or whatever. And so I would go over to the nurse and I said, This is what I'm feeling. I feel like baby coming. I said, Lord, Mrs. Go upon the bed. And so you go upon the bed. And you lie down and she check out. See ya, she's not even five centimeters. Lady, come off ya. Mm -hmm. And you know, and you go, all right, fine. And you did that again, you feel another one. You say, all right, maybe a five is feel like a seven. <laughs> I say, you go back again. Yeah. And uh, again, I'm a new mother. Right. And it is scary. Yes. There's no familiar face. Mm -hmm. I'm on my own. You understand? So and depending on the yes. nurses to guide you. And so, you know, you go back and she check and she go, oh, yeah, six and listen, what lady go on or whatever. Oh, this part, uh, this, there was this lady, um, I'm a mature lady. So it looked like she, she had a lot of children. And I remember she had a lot of nurse, nurse, the baby I come. And as usual, them shun her off and whatever. And the lady literally went down on the floor and she said, look how me make them clean up. Uh -huh. today but you know that when you when you're pushing you know you, you pass yes, right, right and she said look how them are clean up this today so me said i want i want to keep it <laughs> you know and she literally she went on the floor and she stood like this and she just go uh -huh. and you see push. and I, i'm like and then when the baby was coming she hold the baby in huh? and then the, the feces came, came yes, with it yes. as well and so she really did let them clean it up. And so, you know, and so she 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 had the baby and said, Send my baby there and whatever. And then so the nurse them roll, come roll. I am this is me. Traumatized. This is me. Traumatized. Because I've never seen anything like that. You know? But she's a professional. <laughs> <laughs> she's busy everything. Yes. And so they carried her or whatever and she cleaned up and stuff and I got up and went to the bathroom. And so after wiping, um, before, as I said, when, when I felt the urge to push and wow. so I had gone to the bathroom and I wiped and I saw like blood and slime. Right. And, you know, they said that is fine because okay. crowning or whatever. Yeah. But then afterwards, no, when I went again, you know, and I wiped, I was expecting about the same result. Right. But this time it was green. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It was green. I mean, say, well, I'm going to kind of color in a go, you know? <laughs> and so you, you, you go, and I went with it, and I'm like, should I be seeing this? Yeah. And I'm, one of the nurse put her on, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, um, go up on the bed, go up on the bed, go up on the bed. And I saw them out, hurry up, and push her up, and, and my, they're gone, you know? And then they were like, okay, when you feel the urge for push, 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 whatever. I saw me in that because when I feel it, no, yeah. <laughs> when you are calling, nobody answers. Yeah, because when I when I felt the urge, yes. I saw when you said me never ready. Yes. But then you know you're saying once you feel it, push. And I'm, I'm blind. I'm, I'm waiting to feel yes. it so I can push. Right. Um, I wasn't feeling anything. I she's like, you're not feeling anything. I said, no, I'm not feeling anything. I let him a call. I said, Doctor Smith, come here. And Doctor Smith came over, but. Right before Dr. Smith came over, another nurse, I'll never forget her, her face. She had a mole right here. Mm -hmm. She came over, actually, she, she came right in. And, you know, like the mother said, Nurse Stewart, come, come, whatever. So she ran over and she was like, what is going on? And they said, this is what came out. And she's not feeling whatever. And so they started to talk in the doctor language. Anyway, so the male doctor, he came over and he said to me, we're going to slip that area, area mm -hmm. right? and I am going to press into your stomach, right? And when you feel the pressure, I need your help to just push it so the process is easy. Right. I'm like, okay, fine. And so the, the nurse that put the ball that came in, again, this was an emergency, so she never get a chance to put on no overall or anything. So she stood in front of me, my legs are open, I'm ready. They slit, they push and whatever, push. The head water, Everything. whatever, mess up her clothes, uh, and uh. so, and she said, I damn big get picnic, I lost to my clothes. And you know, and at first, me said, but anyway, I said, fine, 
fine. I have my baby. Yes, Whatever yes, you want yes, to say. Yes. You know? And she, she was upset. She was upset. We just come in and whatever, whatever. Anyway, so they wrapped her, they wrapped Jada up and they took her over, let's say, to the right. Yeah. And and then the same nurse, she was like, that damn suction machine and that didn't work or whatever. So I'm on my bed and hearing all of this. I remember there are Romans yes. I can't see. Yes, so yes. I said to one of them, I said, is she okay? Yeah. <clears throat> they said, yeah, man, she's fine. We're just going to carry her upstairs where the suction machine is working so we can suck out whatever is in our lungs and whatever. I am said, all right. And they were there and they cleaned me up. Then I get no, where you call the thing to numb you? Uh, um, That's something they write. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, nothing. They sewed me up raw. So I felt every stitch. Wow. Every stitch. I remember they had to sleep to do whatever. Yes. And then after doing so, I was told, all right, get up and go over there. So, <gasps> and so, don't get go through whatever drama. Right. And then you have to get up and, you know, the feeling and wow. all of that. So, anyway, I take my time and I walk and I go over to another area. And after that person just came in, having babies, having babies, having babies. And I was sitting there for a while. I said, Nurse, where's my baby? And she said, The pediatrician will come and speak to you. So, anyway, I'm fine. Fine, I'm going to see Jada, all of these things. And until this really, really beautiful lady came over to me and she was like, I am so and so, I'm, a, I'm the pediatrician. Um, unfortunately, your baby did not make it. You know, and I'm like, what? Yeah, she said that there are grief counselors that will come and speak to you, but we tried everything. And if she had lived, she would have been a uh, vegetable because she inhaled, she defecated inside of you and then she inhaled it mm -hmm. and it went in full of our lungs. Wow. And so it started to do damage because wow. remember bacteria yes, and all yes, of yes, some yes, of them. Yes. And so they were saying that if she was alive, she would be retarded. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, so it's like, kind of look on the good side. There's no good no. side. Yeah. There's no good side. And so they, they, they left me there again, waited to see the grief counselor or whatever. Eventually, the person came and they took me up to the ward mm -hmm. where you know you have to have your baby and stuff like that. And that is something um, I believe that the hospitals need to take into consideration that when persons lose their baby, we don't want to hear another person's child crying. Oh. Like, me no want to hear that. Yes. You understand? Yes. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is not a good feeling yeah. because you have yours, I don't have mine. Yes. Yes. Right? And so I think I need to think about like an isolation right. ward or right. something right. where we're not in yes. contact and we're not seeing a, mom, a mommy breastfeeding or a father coming with balloons yes. or, yes. you know, stuff yes. like that. And so anyway, when they took me up to the ward, you know, I was just sitting there and I, this girl over here in front of me, a young girl, she have our baby. Another lady over here, she had our baby. Because wow. it's four of us, like a cubicle. Yes, uh -huh. yeah, so I was here and everybody was, oh, you know, everybody had their child. And, you know, it was crazy when my husband came. And so we went to to look for, for, for Jada. Again, <laughs> so my thought is that, okay, fine. She's died, she, um, she has died. I'm going to see her when I go up to see her. They're going to pull her out of this 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 freezer, you yes. know, Mr. Pan General Hospital. Yes. Right? This nice little mm -hmm. freezer, and she's going to be beautiful. And so, and I'm going to say my goodbye to my baby. You see, I'm over there. And we went upstairs, and they said, Who are you here for? And I said, uh, Baby Jones. I call her Baby Jones. I said, Baby Jones. And so, oh, I went to And when you look, them just bring one, one you know, like the, the meat brown paper. Yes, okay, yes, 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 yes. And that she wrap up, you know. Oh, yes. And that she wrap up, you know. And then just put her up on the counter and say, see her there. So, miss, what oh, you mean, see her there? What oh, you mean? You to you. Yeah. What oh, you mean? And he's like, yes, I'm just on her. And my husband said, Nikki's fine. I'll unfold her. And when you unfold her, you just see her like this peaceful, enough mm -hmm. here. You know, she, she, she looked so peaceful. You know, and uh, my heart broke. I started yes. to cry. And anyway, um, my husband folded her up back and right. said, okay, and then give us a day to come and look at, you know, to identify the body and stuff uh, when they send it to the morgue. And 
The man just take her up so and put her back down. Hey. Where is the compassion? Where is the compassion? All right, fine. She dead. Me get it. She dead. My lord. Yeah. You yeah. understand? So these things took a toll on me because yes. I have that memory in my mind. It's like recently it kind of become more bearable. Okay. But before, like yes. anytime I see a brown paper, when we go buy me, yes. me don't want a brown paper. <laughs> Understandably. Yes. Me don't want a brown yes. paper. Yes. You yeah, understand? Yeah. So enough time when I put it, I'm no man, I'm good, and I take it up and put it in the bag because it's painful. It's yes. like I'm re I'm reliving everything. Yes. Yes. You understand? So anyway, when my husband had to leave now and you know all of these things, I went back up and was sitting on my bed and hearing everybody and all of these things. So I couldn't manage. So I screamed myself around. I mean, as the, the moment I screened myself around, I felt a presence that came and just sat on my bed. The bed literally sink. The bed sink. And I was there because I saw a summer sit up. And then it's like, you know, you're looking about somebody. I yeah. said, So I hear God there. No, you are the prisoner worship. Oh. No, you are the no, you are teach dance. The accuser. No, you no, you I go around and I, and I evangelize and I do walk and all of them somebody. So we are God there. And the enemy started to show me the young girl, because she is like say she didn't have the market or whatever. And she just feel like she wanna well, push out the baby yeah. and she push it out and she have a baby. Yeah. She not married, she had a Christian. Mm -hmm. The other lady, she was unmarried as well, but she's a mature lady. She had a Christian. Nobody in my section are a Christian. You understand? Everybody of them baby. And me where I dance for you, Jesus. Me yeah. where I, 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 I go out and I, and I, and I evangelize. I walk with, 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 with my other church um, leaders them. I go in and out tracks. I say, Jesus is Lord. Jesus save. Jesus provide. Jesus Lord. Where you know? You understand? Mm -hmm. So I was angry at God. Because how could you? Yes. How could you? You understand? Mm -hmm. I have tried to live my life. To, my way to marriage. Apart from when the one they want, yes, whatever. I but I wait till marriage to 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 give myself to somebody. Yes. You understand? I took a vow that I will serve you and serve you wholeheartedly. And I be see I said, Nina. And so the enemy started to go on back and forth yes, and back yes. and forth. And I said, this and you know what I'm saying? Him said, because remember, say my first time I'm going to hospital, right. go have baby. So yes. I know some of them the last call. So all of them suck me and me a ear. I said, when the nurse, um, the nurse comes around to do the final check for the evening, just part, just tell, just, after she check it, tell her, say, I got a bathroom. And there's a, there's a nursing station there, you have the bathroom and you have the elevator. Tell her, say, I got a bathroom. And then most of the time, them head down, call them a right or whatever. Yes. Uh, tell her, say, I got a bathroom. And then just switch and go in at the elevator, go up to the highest floor, and jump off because you don't have no purpose. Join us Sunday, June 27th for part two. You don't want to miss it. See you soon.